What's up guys, welcome to another video with Toothpicks Barbecue. Guess what, we're gonna be doing something other than turkey and the holidays is coming up. You can do this for Thanksgiving, you can do this for Christmas. We're gonna be doing a Dr. Pepper, yeah, we're in Texas, Dr. Pepper glazed ham. Stay tuned, you're gonna like it. All right guys, so it's time to get this ham shank prepped up. First of all, let's show you what I got. Of course, I got the ham shank right here. It's not spiral cut. You can use that if you want, but I got a half shank, 10, 11 pounds. You can do this with a whole ham, uh, spiral cut, whatever you like. And it's already been pre-smoked, okay? But we're gonna hit it with our own smoke for a little while to intensify that flavor. Things you're gonna need, Dr. Pepper, okay? You're gonna be needing that. You're gonna be needing some pineapple reserve, barbecue rub, pick something you like, make your own, doesn't matter. Creole mustard. Chicken bouillon to make a little braise. Brown sugar. Cast iron skillet. I got my large cast iron skillet. Get something big enough that it'll hold. Man, I'm making noise over here, okay? Get something big enough that you can put this ham shank in and it won't be, you know, when you put that glaze on it, it won't be going all out into the bottom of your smoker, okay? That's why I got that size. Um, I got a little chicken rack right here that I got off the internet, uh, went to How to Barbecue Right. I like that he had these small little, you can see it right here, small little chicken racks right there. And you know, I typically use that for like, if I'm gonna make other little dishes, what's or not, you know, doesn't matter. But let's go ahead and get this thing prepped out. So I got me my little Dexter knife, and the first thing you wanna do is gonna make you some little lines in it, okay? Now, you can make this like spiral cut, but I'm gonna make some little cross hatches. So the first thing you wanna do, is I wanna go down and space these about an inch apart. Okay, don't go super deep. This will open up. All right, just keep going around. So I'm just skin the top, it's gonna be hard to go through. But you can get a sharp, that's why you gotta have a sharp knife. Go all the way around. And now what you want to do is come back and go the opposite way, as far as you can go around. Now I might have to turn this to do the other side a little more. Come down all the way. And you can see it's kind of, take some of the lines and go back across. All right. Find your line. There we go. And that's all you gotta do. These little cross hatches, like I said, they're gonna open up um, throughout the cook, all right? And then, so next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna leave it on the rack, okay? I'm not gonna put it in the pan right now. I'm gonna ahead and get my binder ready. Take off this glove. Go ahead, get you some Creole mustard. I love the flavor of this. Go ahead, get you a little bit on about a tablespoon or two. Rub that in there. Just like that. You don't need much of this, but it gives a great flavor. I love using this stuff. Just get it enough on there that it's, everything's gonna stick. There you go. Uh oh, almost gone. Go ahead and take barbecue rub. What I want to do is hold it up a little high, give you a good coating. There we go. Nice, even coating on it. Make sure you get it all the way around. If you have a problem, that's why I got the rack kind of slippery. Raise it up a little bit. Get it on that exposed meat up here. And that looks about good right there. We will be using some more of your rub for um, your glaze. It's a little spot I missed right there. But that's gonna be sitting in the braise anyway. And there you have it. It's all ready to go in the smoker. Come outside with me and we're gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing and what I'm gonna be using. All right guys, so we're out here at the smoker. Let me just show you what we got set up right here. I got my Weber Summit that I'm using today. I'm going to be controlling my fire with my Cyber Q Cloud. I got that set for about 250 degrees. And then I'm going to be using my Thermal Works Smoke. I've been having that for a couple years. Hey, 
I love this thing. I got a link in the bottom if you want to check that out and get you one. I'm going to be using that to monitor the internal temps of my ham. Now I put some BNB charcoal in here, lit that up with the grill gun by Grill Blazer. Got a link to that if you need it. Checked in the bottom, you can get 10% off. All right, so once we got that lit up, threw some of this apple wood in there. I don't want to use a real heavy smoke. I want to use something that's going to be real light. And I found that apple wood is real good for pork, real good for fish, vegetables. So I'll be using that today. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and get this hand put on. Now I got this water pan right here at the bottom. All right, so let's go ahead. And the reason I have this on this rack, like I said, it's gonna be for easy removal to put on. I'm just gonna put it right here on the side. Put it over that water pan so you can catch all those, you know, that drippings and juice, grease and whatever. Put it right there. Go ahead and get my Thermal Works probe. Get that in the center, okay? Try not to hit the bone. I think that should be good enough. And it's going off because of my, my uh, smoker temp. Go ahead and get this closed up. I got everything set already. Let it come back up temp and shoot. Going in, we'll get our size ready. What I'm gonna be doing for today, have a couple beers, watch the Cowboys game, and we'll come check it in about an hour and a half. All right, so we're back out here at the smoker. A little disappointment today. My Cowboys got blew out decided to score at the end of the game, but we're not even going to talk about that. We're on to next week. <laughs> so we've been holding about 250 right here. Been going pretty good. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. Now look at that. Look how those cross hatches developed that I made with those cuts of my knife. And what we're going to do, we're going to move this off, get this ham off this rack. And I got some heat gloves with some latex over it with a cotton glove. And I'm gonna put that pan in there like that. And I'm gonna put that ham in that cast iron. Let's go ahead and turn my alarm off. Temperature's starting running about 104 internal. Now I'm gonna pour this chicken stock all over this, okay? Get some of that flavor down in that ham. Make sure you dissolve your bouillon or you can get the one that's already liquid. Now what I'm gonna do is let that braise, but I'm gonna cover this loosely with some foil. Just like that. I want it to still be able to build a bark a little bit without actually steaming it. So we'll do it just like that and we'll go ahead and get this closed. Let it run for another 30, 45 minutes. Let it come up another 10, 15, maybe 20 degrees. And we'll start, go over here and we'll start making our glaze. All right, so let's go ahead and make our glaze. All right, so with those ingredients I showed you in the beginning, and let me just go over what I have. And I already got it mixed up just to save time. But I have two cups of pineapple preserve, two cups of Dr. Pepper, and then I have about a half a cup of brown sugar, okay? Cause you don't need, I got this all this uh, reserve and I don't want it to be too, too sweet, okay, all right? And then I got, went on and gave that a mix, all right? Went on and mixed it up. And you can see how it's kind of like a little liquidy, but it ain't it's too thick, okay? But it's gonna be enough to stick. And what I wanna do, once you got you a good pan heated, right here, I got me a cast iron, go ahead and I already start mixing that up, get it all out. And we just wanna incorporate the seasonings in here. And let's go ahead and get our, some more barbecue rub. I'm gonna put about another tablespoon of rub in there. Get it mixed up, be careful. Now I got a little on my burner, but hopefully it doesn't burn, but so just get you something and wipe that off. Give it a good stir. And we're gonna let this come up to like warm. And then let's go ahead and give it a little taste and pick my finger. Mm. Now that's good. That's good, that's good flavor right there. All right. Once you got all that warmed up, then 
you want to go, we're going to go ahead and put it on our ham. All right, as you can see, temperature is running about 117 internal. Let's go ahead and take my Thermaworks pen and let's see what we got in here internal. So this one's saying 124. Let's go where that probe is and see what's saying. Yeah, 117, 116. So about right from where it's at right there. We're gonna go ahead and get this glaze on, guys. As you see, the foil's off. Got my glaze heated pretty good. Now, we're gonna go and get that right over there, just like that. Get half of that liquid over that. And then we'll let it cook for another maybe 10, 11, 12 degrees. Come back out here, and we'll hit it with some more glaze, okay? Go ahead and get this closed. We're gonna bring our temp up to 300. And I'll do that on the barbecue guru on the cyber cloud. That way the fan can regulate it. We'll come back out here and we'll um, glaze this again. And then we should be getting this off. Got this smoker open. This is at about 142, still coming up. And we're gonna go ahead and get this off. So I'm gonna show you what it is on the internal temp. Let's just go down here close to where the other probe is. 138, 140, right there, 140. I think that's good. One thirty-three right there. 140 right there. So I think that's good enough. Okay, because this is already cooked. We're gonna go ahead and take this probe out. Okay, I'm gonna step over here in the camera and I'm gonna take the power out here so the alarm won't go out. And we're gonna hit it with the finishing touches, guys. Now, you don't have to do this because this crust is already set, but for the sake of YouTube, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Got the grill gun lit up. Let's go ahead and give this a crust. Give it a good crust. Just like that. You don't need you don't need much. That's about 400,000 BTU. And that's all we're going to do. Just wanted to chart it up a little bit. Let's get it inside and let's get this thing cut up. See you in. All right, guys, so we're back in the kitchen. I got this ham shank off the smoker. Look at this beautiful thing right here. This is gonna be real good tonight. You can cook this for Thanksgiving. You can cook this for any day of the week or Christmas. So it's pretty popular with my daughters. I hit the secret weapon. I did the grill gun and kind of charred it at the end. Brought it up to about 140. Shoot, let's get a go ahead and get a cut. Now, I can turn this on the sides to get some slices. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it. And it's already coming apart. I don't even need to do that. Let's just take a piece, look at that. It's just coming apart. Get a little slice right there. Look at that right there, it's so good. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. Dip it in that juice. Mm, 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 mm. That is hell of a good. Mm, 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 real good. So guys, here you go. Dr. Pepper glazed ham. I taste that Dr. Pepper in there. I taste that pineapple. It's so good. That barbecue rub. Hey guys, don't forget to like my video, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell so you can see more videos coming out. I know I'm smacking, but it's so good. Until next time, toothpicks.